guys, this is Jesse from CAD Dimensions. I just wanted to put up a quick update video on my tech tip regarding rendering your model into an existing image. And we use this grid mode to, to work that out. Uh, since I posted that video, uh, or since I recorded it anyway, I've learned a couple things that I find pretty helpful in this process. So I figured I'd put up an update video and let you guys check that out. And uh, hopefully it helps you guys as much as it helps me. Now the first thing is we were talking about uh, adjusting the color and the shading of your model and I did that, I ended up doing it in Photoshop, but I talked about changing the color of these individual uh, appearances. So again, from the appearance tab, you can select one of them and we can change the color of that item. Now, when I did that, I went in here and I just uh, kind of messed with the color until I found something that I liked. Well, at the time I had forgotten that we do also have this little uh, pipette that we can select uh, from elsewhere in the project. Now, the cool thing about this pipette is that it actually will work anywhere in the interface even outside of visualize as well so if you have a color swatch that you have you know outside of the program you can reference that but you can see in here as i'm hovering around it'll be changing the color to whatever i'm hovering over so again this is kind of nice for places where i can just sort of reference the tone of some other object that has uh, similar you know color and uh, surface finish so if i you know move over here maybe this is similar to what the um you know what this part would experience okay even if I feel like it's off from this a little bit this gives me some kind of reference from within the image and now I can darken that up a little bit or I can adjust it from here and have a pretty quick uh, starting position anyway so that was the first item now the second one is in regards to moving the camera around and sometimes as you're panning the model around uh, your camera has a position it also has a focus point so when you're panning sometimes you end up with your focus point somewhere off to the side all right, so when you're uh, rotating things, it doesn't feel like it's rotating about your model. It feels like it's rotating somewhere off, you know, off in space. And that could be the case. So if we come back here and look at uh, one of your cameras, I'll just switch over to uh, an empty camera here. Uh, we can see that the camera itself, uh, if we uh, choose this guy, <clears throat> we'll see that the camera exists in space, also where it's looking exists, and that can be moved around. So if we have the camera pointed um, somewhere off that's you know not centered on the model, you'll feel that when you're moving, uh, the, moving the model around. So you can see as I'm rotating, it feels like the, the model's kind of flying around over here, uh, and it's not all that comfortable. You can very quickly reset that um, with a, a keyboard shortcut, and uh, recenter your camera to look at your model again if that is uh, if you've gotten yourself into a spot where you feel like it, it's hard to manipulate now to do that all you have to do is hold control alt and right click the model and that will recenter your camera onto your model and now when you rotate you'll see that that is rotating about the model itself from there you can go on and uh, manipulate this where you like so i hope those couple of tips help you guys in these scenarios and we'll see you guys next time bye don't forget to check us out on youtube twitter facebook and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below